Shalom, it's Tehillah from the Kifar. Um, and so I did this video a while back on whether or not Hebrew has vowels because it was something that I was hearing and seeing um, in certain circles that it was being taught that Hebrew doesn't have or has never had vowels, um, which of course is not true. And another thing that I have been hearing a lot, um, also in, in similar circles, is that modern Hebrew and Yiddish are one and the same. And that is also not true. Um, one of the things that I think contributes to this mistaken conclusion is that Hebrew and Yiddish are both written with the Hebrew alphabet, so the Aleph bit, those letters that we see. And so if you're not familiar enough, if you don't have a good enough understanding of either Hebrew or Yiddish, then you might look at something in Yiddish and look at something in Hebrew and assume that it's all the same thing um, because you notice that the letters are similar. And it would be like if I were to look at a sentence in Spanish and a sentence in English, if I didn't really know English that well and I didn't really know Spanish that well, I might assume just by looking at the letters because the letters are all the same, that it's all the same language. But if I right now told you that I'm right now speaking Spanish because Spanish and English are the same thing, you as an English speaker or someone with more than just a basic, basic knowledge of English would know that that's not true. And you would know that just because the same letters are used doesn't mean that it's exactly the same language. And so unfortunately, people who are teaching this don't have a well enough understanding of either Hebrew or Yiddish because they can't tell the difference. And so not being able to tell the difference has led to this misconception that it's all just the same exact thing. Hebrew and Yiddish are not even in the same language family, the way that, let's say, Hebrew and Arabic and Amharic are all Semitic languages. Yiddish is actually a Germanic language, Indo-European. So Yiddish has a lot more in common with German um, than it does with Hebrew. And that's not to say that there are no Hebrew influences on Yiddish or that there are no Yiddish influences on modern Hebrew, um, because there are in both directions. However, it doesn't mean that it's the same language. And as a Hebrew speaker, it's not going to help you understand Yiddish. And as a Yiddish speaker, that's not going to help you understand Hebrew. Um, and I actually read an article, it was a couple of months ago, in an Israeli newspaper. And they, the article was just talking about how the army had provided Hebrew Yiddish dictionaries to a unit of soldiers who were patrolling a particular neighborhood in Jerusalem where a large population of Yiddish speakers live. So if modern Hebrew and Yiddish were exactly the same, there would be no need to provide soldiers with a way to communicate because presumably everybody should all be speaking the same language. Um, and I just wanna show you because I wrote a blog post on this uh, several months ago, maybe even over a year ago, because that was one of the, the questions that came up a lot. And I just wanna show you um, English or, or Hebrew and a uh, Yiddish text side by side. So you can see for yourself in case you have heard this or if you've wondered if it's true or whatever. Okay, so this is a graphic from um, the article that I said. And so both of these say, I love Hebrew. One is written in Hebrew and one is written in Yiddish. And as you can see that even though there are letters that are the same, okay, we have this Aleph here and this Aleph here and we see a Lamed and we see letters that are familiar to us um, as Hebrew speakers or Hebrew learners, but you can see that the words are different and the words are also obviously pronounced differently. And so what I would like for you to do is if you are learning from someone who is teaching or if you hear someone who is teaching that Hebrew and Yiddish are exactly the same, I would like for you to show them this graphic and ask them to identify which is which and ask them also to just read it because if they know Hebrew, even if you only know Hebrew and not Yiddish, they'll be able to identify immediately which one is Hebrew and if they're able to read also to read it. And same on the other side, if they only know Yiddish, 
they'll be able to identify which one is Yiddish um, and read that one as well. So you don't have to know both languages in order to identify one of them. Like for instance, I don't have to know Italian, but if I read a sentence in Italian, I'll know right away it's not English. Um, even if I can't necessarily identify what it is, despite the fact that the letters are the same letters that we use in English. I just, I want for you to just know that modern Hebrew and Yiddish are by no means exactly the same. They are two different languages. If you are learning Hebrew from someone who is teaching that modern Hebrew and Yiddish are exactly the same, I guarantee that whatever you are learning from that person is not Hebrew. And that's not to say that whatever they are teaching you, because there are a lot of other philosophies out there and eventually I'll get to them in other videos. And it's not to say that whatever it is they're teaching you is wrong or that you shouldn't speak in whatever manner it is that they speak or that you shouldn't pronounce things in whatever manner they pronounce it. I'm not saying that any of that is wrong or is bad. What I am saying is that it's not Hebrew. So however you choose to speak is fine, as long as the people that you are speaking to, speaking with can understand you. If you're able to communicate, then that's fine. Um, just know that it's not Hebrew. And, and that's all. So that is all for today's video. The moral of the story, um, modern Hebrew and Yiddish are not the same. If somebody is teaching you that, you should find another teacher. Doesn't have to be me, but it should be somebody who knows the difference between Hebrew and Yiddish. Okay, so that is all for today. So that let's fia. Like, share this video. Anytime you hear people talking about Yiddish and Hebrew being the same, please share this video. And I will see you next time. Later out.